this is how you can make this 3d stylized cube in after effects okay so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to make a new shape layer and we are going to select the rectangle tool make a perfect square by holding shift make sure it is aligned okay now i'm going to show you the easiest way to make a 3d cube just duplicate the first layer to make a 3d and change the anchor point to the right like this and we are going to change the y rotation to plus 90 degrees and as you can see so this is how it looks like now similarly we are going to duplicate it again change the anchor point and move the y rotation to 180 degrees so like this and do once more to 270 degrees all right now for the top and the bottom part we are going to select the front layer we are going to duplicate it and change the anchor point to the top and we are going to change the x rotation this time to 90 degrees similarly duplicate it again and change the anchor point to bottom and change it the x rotation to minus 90 degrees okay as you can see this is our full cube completed all right now i'm gonna go to active camera again now for the colors we are going to change the fill of the first one to linear gradient and we are going to change this point to a darkish orangish color something like this make sure it is not too bright or not too vibrant and the second one will be dark blue something like this and change the opacity to zero make sure to do this also change the midpoint to somewhere around here so we have a nice blue shade something like this as you can see if i solo this layer and if i change the points to the corners so something like this as you can see we have a nice blue shading all right similarly we are going to do same thing for the stroke change it to linear gradient and go into the settings we are going to change this one to a much vibrant orange and put the white color to completely black also change the midpoint as well something like this and we are going to adjust the points as well to the corners and change the stroke width to 2 we don't want very thick edges <clears throat> all right so we are going to do the same things for all the layers let's change it to linear gradient and we have already set up the colors and for the bottom one just do the same thing change the points to corners Make sure the highlighted part is at one corner and the other dark part is at the second corner. And do the same thing for this. And we are going to just repeat the process until all shape layers are, are shaded. Alright, as you can see this is looking pretty good. Now we are going to do the same things for the stroke. And similarly change it to linear gradient. And we are going to change the points of the stroke to the corners as well. Make sure the highlighted part is at the orange corner, right? So if I just solo this, as you can see, there's like a small edge to the orange part, right? Also, one mistake I did is just change the opacity of the black one to zero. And we are going to do the same thing for all the stroke shape layers, right? And we are going to adjust the points to the corners as well. So similarly for this one, so just drag the points to the corner, something like this. And we are going to do this for all the shape layers just make sure the highlighted part of the stroke is at the orange highlight or the fill color all right just go to active camera okay this is looking good now for the rotation of the cube we are going to make a new null layer and if i make it 3d and connect all the shape layers to the null layer as it is and i change the rotation as you can see the rotation is completely messed up we don't want it like this so to fix that what we are going to do is we are going to select the back shape layer the one shape layer that is at the back of the cube so this one and we are going to see its z position so 465 and we are going to put 465 and write divided by 2 so this is automatically going to make the null layer to be in the center of the cube if i go to custom view as you can see it is in the center now if i connect all the shape layers to the null layer and change the rotation as you can see this is looking completely fine so this is a small trick that i do all right so for the animation we are going to make sure everything is big in the star and we are going to just change the x and y rotation to something like this and we are going to easy ease them and change the graph to really sharp in the beginning all right this is very fast so i'm going to dilate the keyframes so this is looking really good now for the second points just go around somewhere at four seconds and change the y and x rotation as well and similarly we are going to change the graph of these keyframes to a bit sharper all right and just make sure to play around with the rotation settings to get whatever you like just adjust the keyframes a bit 
okay this looking really good now for the inside cube what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate everything we are going to put it on top and select the top null layer and just decrease the scale we are going to select both of the keyframes just select both of the keyframes and decrease the scale to something like this and we are going to do the same with the x and y rotation just randomize it you don't have to animate it manually all right as you can see this is how it looks like now for the colors of the cube we can actually change it so the cube is a bit opaque and what we're gonna do to achieve that is go to the fill color of all the shape layers and change the midpoint change the colors a bit and make sure to increase the opacity of the blue one to around 50 and we're going to change the blue to a brighter blue so as you can see the cube is looking really good and it is opaque now okay so this looks good but we can make it better by adding additional effects so the first effect we are going to do is we are going to apply a light sweep effect to it so just drag the center point and change the direction to the highlighted part make sure to do this this is the most important effect and we are going to increase the sweep intensity a bit and increase the width as well so it is not too sharp and just change the edge, edge thickness to around 2 and we are going to copy the light sweep change the direction so it is in the corner at the highlighted part something like this okay so as you can see the stroke now looks glowing just because we change the direction of the light sweep to the corner and make sure to do this for all the shape layers all right now another effect we are going to apply is noise and we are going to change the amount to around seven and below noise we are going to apply a posturize effect and change the levels to around 12 so this adds a bit of texture to the scene as you can see and we are going to apply a normal glow effect change the radius to around 300 and change the intensity to 0.8 and also slightly increase the threshold all right now make another adjustment layer and we are going to apply a deep glow to it and change the radius to around 350 decrease the exposure a bit so 0.80 looks good we're gonna increase the threshold to around 65 so the glow is much smoother similarly just increase the threshold smoothness and we're going to enable the chromatic aberration and increase the amount to something like this 0.75 percent and for the colors just make sure to change it to red and green and increase the amount to your liking and i have applied a cc lens effect to it to exaggerate the motion and our animation is basically done and if i just play it as you can see this looks really good so if you've enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe and all the ss and project file are going to be available in my discord server which will be linked in the description and if you guys have any specific question you can ask me in my server as well and i'll see you with the next one